Good morning, everybody. I hope this video finds you well. Today I want to talk about the uh, coronavirus outbreak B5. It's an Omicron B5 variant that is rampaging in my complex. Uh, for those of you who are unaware, I live in Zhuhai, China. It's across from Macau and uh, Hong Kong. So if you were to draw a line between Macau and Hong Kong, you would find this area where I live, which is in the middle of it, called Zhuhai. And apparently, uh, and there is an outbreak of coronavirus in my Town. It's not just in my town, mind you. It's in my complex. It's there. Actually, that building, that building, that building, that building, that building, that subcomplex, that building over there, and that building over there are all completely roped off and closed. As I've described in my other videos, uh, the levels are uh, level one. Level zero, you're in a hospital. Level one, uh, you are uh, instructed to stay in your apartment. Uh, level two, you're instructed to stay within your building. Level three, you're instructed to stay within your complex. Level four, you are instructed to stay within your uh, local region. And there's always, you know, it's Pockets within pockets within pockets within pockets, bubbles within bubbles within bubbles. And uh, by the luck of the draw, I am in the only unlocked building in my complex because there aren't very many people living in it. It's me and maybe four other families, maybe six other families. There's not that many people. And uh, so uh, we're we're you're not prone to getting it as say a building that's completely 100% occupied which maybe has a hundred families <clears throat> it hit on uh, Tuesday Tuesday morning we all received notice when we woke up that said that uh, Zhuhai is under lockdown because there was one coronavirus case uh, that was on Tuesday on Wednesday, it had increased to eight cases, and my uh, the the complex right next to me is completely roped off and closed. Yesterday, okay, and uh, on uh, and the and my one uh, building over there in my complex uh, is roped off. Now you have to understand, as I described before, China is a series of these mini complexes, all walled in communities with skyscrapers inside of it. Each walled in community has got its own amenities and guards and housekeeping and all kinds of stuff. It's all walled up. And uh, then uh, yesterday, that one building turned out turned into five or six buildings. I always thought that there were six buildings. Apparently there's eight buildings in my complex. Some of the buildings are connected. You don't recognize them as, as an individual building. They're just connected. There's a wall there. They have two separate entrances. Anyways, so all of them are infected except for my building. And as of today, I'm still the only free building in the complex. Since I am free, we're not, we can come and go as we please. Our complex isn't gated. That one over there, the whole complex is gated. And what they did <clears throat> is you have to understand, um, so the military comes, and so the military troops, uh, they put, they're dressed on, they're dressed in um, black and yellow. So they're wearing um, the, the black uh, uniform 
and they have a, a yellow on the back. And there's two to three um, military guards. We'll, we'll call them paramilitary because they don't they're not carrying a gun uh, at each entrance. And then the whole building is with red tape, so you, know, you can walk under the tape. It's no big deal, but you know that it's a barrier and you're not supposed to break it. Coffee's hot. So, um, and then it's a standard lockdown procedures. Um, it's been very, very eerie because this whole area is locked down. There is no cars driving. There's no trucks moving, making, you know, delivering food or anything. You yesterday there were some uh, KFC deliveries and a couple of other deliveries, but mostly everything is really down. I don't think there's going to be any deliveries today. Uh, supposedly. Um, Today, the quarantine is supposed to have been lifted. At least that was the idea. Look, come on Tuesday. Uh, I don't think it's happening. Now, this has put a lot of us, um, you know, I've got another life going on. I'm purchasing a house. I got banking issues I got to do. I got to go to the bank. I got to do face scan. I got to do all this. That's all on hold. Forget it. It's done. Forget it. Uh, so, um, a lot of people, you know, have to deal with this and it's frustrating it's it's stressful but in the videos that I have taken do you see people screaming and yelling and hollering and blah 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 like what you heard from Shanghai no you don't because the Shanghai hysteria was a fiction for American audiences just like this bank riots was a fiction for American audiences. How do you know? Because the signs are in English. They speak Chinese in China. They don't speak English. So, yeah, so that's what's going on. Um, I'm showing you a couple of videos of what's going on in my neck of the woods here. It's all very calm and orderly. People just do it. People obey because they're part of the community and that's what's best for us to be safe. I don't know if I told you, I think I might have mentioned it. It's hard to tell. I talk about this stuff a lot, so I don't know. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but apparently a kindergarten teacher got infected somehow. Somebody from Macau, apparently. Nobody's sure. At this stage, they'll figure it out. And she infected all the kids. And the kids infected all their families. And all the families also had other kids, which infected other kids. And I just went, Phew. I have constantly stated over and over again how this is a bioweapon that was launched by John Bolton. Incidentally, John Bolton was on uh, YouTube yesterday talk, bragging about how he does how he did uh, very effective regime changes. And therefore, he knows for a fact that Donald Trump was not involved in a regime change because it was just so loosey-goosey. It wasn't really well done. What do you know?
amazes me how these evil psychopaths are allowed to be in positions of power and still be alive without being lynched. Got me. Yeah, uh, by the way, uh, FBI caught the guy who released Vault 7 to WikiLeaks, by the way. Um, I forget his name. It's on my cell phone on under Drudge. I read the article. He, uh, he was, he's being charged with uh, a count of espionage, which is probably is death or life imprisonment, and child pornography. So that he's a sex offender for the rest of his life. That's what they do, you know. You up go against the government, they'll slap a sex offender charge on you. That's how they retire majestic agents. That's what they did to Scott Ritter. You know, Scott Ritter, who's there talking, he was the weapons inspector for Iraq. They'll slap you with child porn. Make you an untouchable. So nobody wants to hear what you have to say. That's reality, people. That's the way America plays. Anyways, there's no news, Western news, about this event going on, which is suspicious. You would think that they would lock on it and cry and moan about the bad stuff going on in China. This is just standard fare in China. This is just the way it is. And the reason why it's standard fare is because China has been at DEF CON one or two, I, I lose track, ever since 2019 when John Bolton and Donald Trump unleashed bioweapons on people during Chinese New Year in the population center of China, the population center of China on the most busiest day where everybody is packed like sardines. What kind of evil fuck would do such a thing? Well, there in the United States. Yeah, I, you know, I listened to Hall Turner. I, I, you know, I, I complained about him, but, you know, he's got some good stuff. Maybe it resonates to me because he's also from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania hillbilly. Well, my sister's a Pennsylvania hillbilly, so hell. But he he did an eleven minute rant, saying you know, and I, I copied it. So it's on my it's going to be on one of my posts. I'm going to release here in a week or so. He's talking. He says America needs to die. Shoot it. Put it out of its misery. It is the most evil, corrupt source of world chaos in 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 history. It just sits there, and all the problems and troubles and deaths. And diseases, everything is all attributed to the United States. And it's not the United States people, it's the United States oligarchy. Jesus, just let it die. They know they're bad. They know they need to die. They're just waiting for the death blow. Anyways, a little opinion there. Uh, in these videos, you can see the things that are going on. Um, you, one of the things you're going to notice is it's calm here. Nobody's upset. Nobody's crying. Nobody's yelling. A couple of people are mumbling. There was a guy in line when I was taking my tests yesterday. We take them every day. And he's there... He's mumbling and grumbling. Everybody else is just kind of looking at him like, what's his problem? <laughs> you know, everybody's looking at him like, what the hell's his problem? But what's the alternative? You get this fucking disease from some Fort Detrick bio lab. What's the alternative, right? When life hits you, you have to learn to pull a matrix, you know, where where Keanu Reeves like bends over backwards and bullets fly by him in slow motion and he's going shh, 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 
<laughs> you got to learn how to do that. You got to be able to ride the ocean and be like water. You have to see things as they actually are, as they are, not as you want them to be. Certainly, I wish it wasn't this way. Certainly, I wish I could go out to a restaurant right now and get something to eat. Certainly, I wish I could walk around a little free. Certainly. Can't. So complaining is not going to do anything about it. And one of the reasons why China isn't complaining and bitching and moaning like the fake news that said it was about Shanghai is because Chinese are pragmatic and practical. They're not going to sit around moaning and groaning and moping. They're going to do something. They're going to do something as part of a community. The community is going to gather together. We're going to lock up. And that's what we're going to do. They're doing something. It may be boring, but they're doing it. My community has... Uh, like I said, eight buildings. I thought there were six, but it's eight buildings. I'm in building one. It's building number one. You can tell because it says one on the building. <laughs> on the front door. Every building has one door. It's called the front door. Why would you have a back door if you have a front door? And then the, the uh, you go in the front door and you're in a little lobby. You're in a little lobby. And that's where the elevators are. And then you go up to your floor where your apartment is. It's actually a house, it's not an apartment. Apartments generally in the, in the West, in the United States for instance, a man or a person, could be a woman, owns a building. They break it up into apartments and they rent out the apartments. In China, you have a building and people buy the homes within that building. Sort of like a high rise condo where in a condo, you might have a string, a string of maybe five to 10 houses. They're all on one string and you buy a single house. It's called a condo, a condominium. That's what China is set up. These high rises are all condominiums. You buy a home within this building structure. So you have your main door that goes on in, and then the elevators take you up. If one of the elevators are broke, like the one here, you as a homeowner has to pay for it because it's in your building. Uh, that's another subject. Pluses and minuses with everything. Certainly, if I was living in the United States, I'd never have to pay for an elevator maintenance because there's no elevators. But I would have to pay if the garage door broke. I would have to pay if my tree smashed my car. That's the way it works sometimes, don't you know? So anyways, yeah, you've got those. And... Uh, the buildings themselves, they sit within a walled complex. How, what does it look like? Well, it looks like a wall and a main gate. And all the buildings are inside this walled area. And they all sit on top of this big underground parking lot. And if you own a home, then you get one parking space and the option to buy another one if there's one available for you to buy. Typically in the homes uh, that are being sold these days, it all comes with two parking spots. Okay. My house over in Junction, my house over there in Zhuhai, both are over that way. It comes with two parking spaces. Yeah. Even you got a car, you're not able to out. Yeah. <laughs> if we would have taken that the DD, we'd we been not able to come back. We won't be able to come back. Look at this. Fences on everything. Oh Christ. Yeah,
，这个是，这个是鱼女。Yeah. And um, in these complexes, the bigger complexes will have multiple entryway. You'll have a front door and a side door, or a front door and a back door. Uh, this particular complex I live in has uh, three entrance ways: the main entrance way, the west entrance way. And the east entrance way, and we call them side doors. Uh, the side doors are locked uh, with a padlock because they are, you know, they're metal grills. You need a tank to bust through them, and uh, they're padlocked. And there's a little sign that says "Go to the front gate." The reason, and they say the reason for this is the pandemic and blah blah blah. So you know what's going on. And then the front gate. Now the front gate is always that is the guardhouse, and that is where the main doors open for truck deliveries and all sorts of things. A lot of activity going back and forth. And、um, I've filmed these things in this particular complex. Supposedly, as soon as the pandemic ends, I'll be able to move to my house over in Jiangshan. And then I'll be making different recordings of maybe a different background, you know, not this one.、I'll、be doing something a little bit different. But until that happens, I'm still here. Is it frustrating? Yeah, yeah. But you know, what are you gonna do? You do, you make the best with what you got. Okay. Life deals out cards for you. We all hope to get a, a royal flush, but you know, sometimes all you got is two pair. Sometimes you get much less than that. I get a seven of clubs and a and a three of diamonds. <laughs> What do you know? Anyways,、um, so that's kind of what's going on.、Um, now in the videos, I want to point out a couple of things. Notice how unhurried everything is. Notice how calm everything is. Notice how peaceful everything is. Notice how the people are. They're going about their day as if it's no big deal. It's just another pandemic lockdown. That's how it's handled in China. So when all this nonsense about Shanghai came up, we're all scratching our head like, "What the fuck's the matter with Shanghai?" Are they Chinese or what? It turns out the whole narrative was concocted out of Taiwan, the UK, Australia, and the United States, and they had sets built, actual movie sets built, that depicted rain falling from ceilings and people and and the workers being uncaring and stuff like that. This is the house next to mine. Every single building all around where I live is under lockdown, except mine, because I'm in a building that's mostly empty. The people wearing yellow—that is city people who are in putting up fences. Those that are wearing. Green are city employees who are establishing quarantine areas. The ones wearing black with yellow that you might see over here, they're、uh, government military who are guarding the doors and enforcing enforcement. You look over here. This entire section next to me is closed. You can see the blue tent, but over here, can you see the people in the blue garb? People in the blue garb over here, at the center of the picture. They're health professionals that are going door to door and taking people's coronavirus tests. And everything. This section here of the low buildings, 
and these other buildings are all under lockdown. Each individual building is under lockdown. See, there's nobody out and about, are there? Nobody's walking. Nobody's playing basketball. Here, if you look, you'll see people getting out briefly, emptying trash, and getting some groceries. And that's it. So anyways, uh, the, the point that I'm trying to make here is that things are calm. It is normal protocol. Nobody's upset about it. Nobody's surprised by it. Nobody's angry about it. And everything's proceeding like clockwork. It's not a big deal. Nobody's complaining about wearing masks. Nobody's saying it's my right to breathe air without a mask. Nobody's yelling about their freedom. This is what it's like, people. Now, <clears throat> the Omicron B5, I'm not quite sure if it's a B4 or B5, I don't really give a fuck, but it's um, a, uh, a modification, an adaptation of the Omicron. So the Omicron variant is one that's highly contagious. Not only is it contagious, but it just sticks around on surfaces for a long time. Very resilient. And the B4 or B5 variant, the variant, whatever it is right now, is apparently very, very dangerous because it's very lethal. Those of us who have Sinovac, which is the dead host vaccine, have developed our immunities. And that's what a dead host vaccine does. It injects in your body and builds up your immune system so that it's able to specifically target coronavirus. That's how they eradicated polo and smallpox, is by these dead host viruses. Uh, the United States, in its great wisdom, and all the West, has decided not to do that. Instead, they have these very expensive mRNA cures that basically um, clean out your system for a set period of time. So that while this cure is in your body, uh, Omicron doesn't, or the virus doesn't do anything to you. China feels that uh, this is an untested territory. They have created their own versions, but they are not giving it to people. They're not offering it to people. They're experimenting and they're doing a couple of, of trials on it. Uh, as I understand it, they're still in the animal phase and they're discussing whether or not to try human trials. That's how China does things. If you've got something that works, why do something else? Well, maybe it's because they need to understand how this mRNA gut works in case they need to adapt it. But right now they feel that it is not a cure, that they feel that it is not something that they want to invest a lot of time and effort to, irregardless to anything you might read in the American press. That's what's going on about that. Um... I don't want to go on and on about the bioweapon thing. It's just, it's, it's pretty clear. Some other people are beginning to wake up to the fact that it's a bioweapon, especially since all the, since a hell of a lot of files were seized out of the bioweapons by Russia. And the, the American general in charge of the bioweapon operation in the Ukraine was captured by Russia. That information's been shared with China. So there's no question at all the United States has weaponized viruses 
and has been planning to take over the world as like some kind of evil monocled genius petting a white cat would. There's no question. None whatsoever. So there you have it. And the purpose of this video here was to describe what's going on. Underscore that uh, I might be quiet for a little bit as I'm moving and in the middle of a pandemic and kind of busy with all sorts of personal issues. Doesn't mean I don't care about you guys. Do care about you. But I got things I got to deal with. <sighs> And uh, that's what's going on. I want to underline one more time, reality. Look over the videos, it's calm. People are in compliance. They're living life normally under abnormal situations. There's no stress about it. And that's the reality. And maybe you'll hear about it reported in some alternative blog saying, the world's coming to an end in China. See, it's another example of China going to collapse any day now because of Xi Ping and Shema 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 and all kinds of nonsense. And throw that kind of way. Throw that garbage away. Everything's fine here. And that's what's going on. All right, people. I'm going to wrap this up. And uh, with that, I just want you to know that things are well here, things are well in hand, and in every day, and in every way, please be the best you can possibly be. Eat well. Smile. Be good to dogs and cats. Buy a coffee for a friend. You can see yourself getting caught up, getting too stressed out. Just walk out of the room. Say, I need a timeout, man. I gotta chill. Just be a good, all around person. And eat well, not fast food. I mean, I sit down at a table with friends and family and eat a meal together. Eat well. You deserve it make it happen and with that I want you to know one more thing no matter what I believe in you
算往事，明白爱是有点有趣，有趣有趣。有话可以谈，随意坚持。缘分中和你被是非曲直，缘尽如此。当我解锁往事，看人情爱是有早有迟，有深有浅，有长在分辨何时。终于能认错，无从为历史，交错终止。心酸我是明白，爱是有点幼稚，有稚有稚，有话可谈，随意坚持。缘分中和你的是非曲直，缘尽于此。让我解锁往事，看人情爱是有早有迟，有深有浅，有长在分辨何时。终于能让错误成为历史，交错终止。